Christopher Lee. I'm the executive chef at Huntington Social in Huntington, New York. Today we're demoing roasted sweet potatoes with maple syrup and butter. We're going to start off with our sweet potato and we're going to cut them into something in the French world called a batonnet. It's basically one of the classic knife cuts that we all learn in culinary school, but it's a pretty simple. It's, it's a long rectangle of shape. You want to get as even as possible but it's not that easy to cut sweet potatoes uh, or any type of potato, let's say. So we're just gonna try our best here. Yeah. All right, it helps to have a really sharp knife. But, so there we go, we have our batonne cut. You can notice it's like a long rectangular shape. Then we're gonna have this, we're gonna bring a little butter, start the cooking process in a pan. This is what we're gonna call Another type of roasting technique. Um, a lot of times you could just toss uh, your vegetables, in this case sweet potatoes, with olive oil or some oil and salt and pepper and put it in the oven. Or I'm introducing you to a new technique where it's more of a butter roasting in a pan. So you don't have to use an oven either. So you're going to get a pan to medium temperature and you're going to put a piece of whole butter, sweet butter though, not salted. Um, the salt would actually burn. So then we're going to add our sweet potatoes into it. And this is... A technique that a lot of great restaurants or fine restaurants use, and it's easy to do in the home. You just whole butter and any type of product. And what you're doing is you're just going to keep an eye on it, making sure your butter doesn't brown or turn um, black on you. And it's really what we call a moussing technique. You always want the bubbles to show in the pan like, like so. And once if it turns flat, that means you got it too hot or you didn't aerate it. Aerating is a great technique because if your pan is, you're trying to source out your pan to have the perfect temperature. Well, aeration will cool your pan down, so you're going up and down in temperature. And that's what that moosing technique is. All right. So meanwhile, while that's roasting, we're going to warm up our maple syrup. It's nothing better than warm maple syrup, <laughs> especially with sweet potato. There we go. Put that back. So roasting takes about six to eight minutes in a pan just to get the product or whatever you're using, your ingredient to be super tender. Sweet potatoes cook fast, so it might go quicker. Let's say six to eight minutes. So once we get the, the sweet potato nice and golden brown, as you can see, I did some a little earlier. Um, it's, it, they, it, they actually you know, get smaller in size because of the water weight, but it gets this beautiful roasted color. So we're just gonna plate it, and we're not gonna drain any of the butter off it because you know, the recipe it highlights butter and maple syrup with sweet potato. And butter has such a great flavor. Um, and who doesn't love butter? It might not be the healthiest thing for you, but in moderation, it'll be perfect. So we're just going to create some funky little edges there. We're going to have our maple syrup. I'm just going to spoon it on top around the plate to glaze these beautiful batonet of roasted sweet potato. Now I'm going to finish this with a little fresh cinnamon. It's going to be a nice, great little fall spice. And then some fresh chives. The chives will give us a little balance of savory, that onion flavor, that help counterbalance the sweetness of the maple syrup and the natural sweetness of the sweet potato. So there we go. We have roasted sweet potato with maple syrup and butter.